In this video, I'm going to go over how you can uh, access and manage on-demand content on the uh, Spectrum app using uh, your Roku device, or it could be a Roku TV, in this case, a TCL Roku TV. So let's go to the uh, Spectrum app. Did a video, done several videos with the uh, Spectrum app and Roco. One was uh, how to uh, manage your startup channel. You notice I had it uh, set to the uh, tennis channel. And I will be blurring some uh, sections of the video so that I, uh, I don't get cited for uh, copyright uh, infringement. Okay, so once you're on the Spectrum app, we uh, hit the uh, back arrow on the uh, upper left of your Roku remote. Okay, and you get this screen right here. And then we have On Demand here. So I click on this. And you have Featured there, so you can click on any of these, scroll down, click any of these. Or you can go to Networks, and you can search ABC, Acorn, AMC here. Okay. And click on anything you like from there. Or you can go back and just look at the featured ones. So click on, let's go down on featured. And let's say I click on this one here, Tanya. Click on that. And it gives you a uh, description of the, of the movie. I clicked on this previously and it said uh, resume here. That's why it says resume. And over here there's more ways to watch. Here's your other times that it's coming on. On regular TV. However, because it's uh, on demand and it has a, a watch list here, you can click on it. Mine says resume. Now, if you haven't uh, clicked on it before, it'll just say watch. You can just uh, click on that and you start watching it. Okay. Or if you want to watch it later, you can put it on your watch list or favorites list. Okay. So I click on that. Click on that again. Okay. So it puts an X on it. So that means it's been selected. Uh, so you don't want to watch it right now. You can watch it later and it puts it on uh, your favorites list, also called the uh, library. So hit the back button here, again on the upper left of the remote. Hit it again. So I can go to live TV here if I want. Or I can go to uh, my library. And let's go down here. You see, there's the movie. So if I want to go ahead and play it now, I can go ahead and just hit play. Or hit the uh, OK button on your remote, I should say. In my case, because I clicked on it earlier, I just click on Resume. I don't want to have the volume on it right now, but uh, there's the movie. And of course, the thing about it is... Uh, you can speed it up if you don't like it seen here. Fast forward. Continue. Back it up. Reverse it or rewind. Okay. 
so it's on your watch list or the library. Now let's go back. Here on demand again. Right here, we're on the featured category. Like I said, you could scroll here and you see something you like, you can watch it. Or because they're on demand, you can uh, save it to your uh, library or watch list. Or you can go to networks. Okay. Just go down. Whatever you want to hear to search on AMC. Okay. First one there is shift to first dates. I click on that one. Okay. As long as it has the uh, that watch list there in the middle with the cross, uh, you can save it and watch it later. Okay. And we just remember how to save it. So you can look through the different uh, networks. Now, there might be a situation where you have a movie in mind and you don't know whether it's on demand or not or when it's coming out. So you can do a search here. You go up and uh, I'm going to look at uh, one that it was called The Nerds. So I'll type in the title that I remember. Might not be The Nerds, but we'll see what we get here. Space. You know, you can see it here, uh, actually Revenge of the Nerds, okay, so let me just click on this one here, okay, so you can, like I said, uh, you might not want to search through the whole thing and see what, uh, what you find, you might have a movie in mind, so you can do the search here, and you can see this one does have the watch list here, so we can save it, so I'm going to click on this, Okay. Like I said, you could start watching right now. You can save it and watch now, or you can uh, watch it later. So let's go back to the uh, library. Okay. So that's the one we had earlier. Now again, if you if you watch a movie, an on-demand movie, but you don't uh, you don't save it to your watch list, it'll keep it over here on top where it says recently watched. Now this one we watched it, but we also uh, saved it, so you can see it at the bottom over here. Okay, but if you didn't save it, it'll keep it right here to remind you of one that you watched and uh, you didn't complete it. Okay, if you finish the movie, it probably won't appear here, appear here, but uh, if it does, or you finished it and it stays here, you can just go to this uh, icon here and clear it, and it'll take it off that uh, particular uh, list there. And then over here, of course, you have the uh, Revenge of the Nerds uh, 2. So now, again, whether it's the next day or a few days later, it's going it's to stay there. So, okay, there it is. And then you can just click on Watch. You can start watching the movie. And of course, the good thing about these movies is, is if you get bored with the scene, at least I do it a lot, uh, I go ahead and just speed it up. So 
that's how you can access uh, and manage uh, on-demand uh, content. Now, I, I did a video similar to this. Uh, then we focus on the, this uh, section here, but before I go here, I want to point out that, uh, uh, just in case you don't know, I, I did a video kind of pointing this out. If I go there to the bottom, you see where settings, click on that. You can see up here, guide sorting. Right now I have it by channel. You can change that to network. You can clear the watch list from here. Clear viewing history and bookmarks. Uh, startup channel, I mentioned it. You can manage that here. I have it set, as you see, to the tennis channel and so on. And then if you don't have a if you don't have a library created or a watch list created, once you uh, save the first one, it should be automatically created for you. Okay. So go back to live TV here. I just want to point something else here to you. Uh, and again, we uh, subscribe to Spectrum, so we have different uh, packages sports and uh, movie channels so if I click on the right now I have it set to my favorites okay so I have a favorites category right here where I have uh, a bunch of sports uh, channels movie channels news channels and so forth so it's in favorites but if I go over here to the left I can select premiums So again here, if you don't want to go, if you just want to kind of scroll through these and not go to the uh, on demand, you see a movie you like here, okay. Okay, so we look at independence right here. The other ones that have that uh, back arrow, loop back, you see, those are on demand. So let me just click on barefoot. And of course it's already on right now. But if I hit, if I go to the navigation portion of the Roku and hit it on the, uh, the down arrow, again, here. You see watch, click on watch, you start watching it, and then of course you have a watch list. So if I want to save this to my watch list or library, again, like before, I can uh, double click on that once there. Okay, it's over there. So if I go to the watch list, that should be there. There it is, barefoot. Now I do want to point out that uh, some of these that you might have uh, on your library, a watch list, will stay there. This is one my wife wanted to see when we put it on the watch list, the notebook. And after time, uh, they take them off on demand. You can still watch when they come on, but you don't have the uh, convenience of watching when you watch. So if I click on it now, notice uh, it just says more ways to watch. So I couldn't watch it right now. All I could do is uh, click on more ways to watch, and you can see there it's, it's coming on at uh, 4.49, tomorrow at 7.40 nine in the morning, eight, and so on, okay. So they'll stay, they'll stay on the, uh, on the watch list even though they're not on demand anymore. Uh, you could eliminate all of them by, uh, you don't have the option to get rid of one at a, uh, at a time. Even if you, even if you, uh, 
unselect it if it has if it still has watch list uh, capability. If you unselect it, sometimes it'll still stay there. But if you want to select, uh, eliminate all of them, just click on this icon here, clear, and you're uh, you're good to go. I did also create, uh, wonderful how to create your favorite channels. As I pointed out a while ago, but that's one of my categories. Uh, so check that video out. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next.